Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio, where the spiritual dainties are on display. Yes, your post-Christmas goodie bar is open again today. Come on in. This will be the last day for goodie bar. You can come in, get your stuff, get something to drink, get some hot chocolate, some good hot coffee. Come in, enjoy a little bit of Bible study today as we look at verse 7 from Psalm 142. Let me go ahead and read that for you. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Again, remember that this is a masculine of David. And what is what is it that David is teaching us? That this is a masculine, a didactic psalm, a, a psalm of instruction. What are we to learn here? Well, we're to learn that there is no confidence in the arm of flesh. We can't trust men to do for us what we should be asking God to do. It's okay to trust men, but it's not okay to trust men in replacement of our trust in the Lord. See, our faith has to be first. So we depend on him via his word. That's where we place our faith, the promises that God gives us in his word. And we act on that. We don't wait for men to come through. We wait for the Lord to come through. We're waiting on him and his action. So this is an instructive psalm because we see the cry and the pain, the turmoil, the trouble that David has because he has trusted men. But now in the second half of the psalm, I cried unto thee, O Lord. So it's no longer just a cry of upset. It's a cry unto the Lord specifically. And David confesses, the Lord now is his refuge, his portion in the land of the living. And then we come to seven. He says, bring my soul out of prison. Well, what prison is he talking about? Well, the ancient church and more contemporary sources of the church that have interpreted this psalm have said that, well, number one, it's the um, the cave that he's in. But moreover, it's not the cave, but the overwhelmed soul in the cave. So you see, David is overwhelmed by the fact that men, have de- they've departed him, they've abandoned him. And so this is a prison for him. He feels as though he's locked up because of this. And now, making the Lord his refuge, he says, I need you to heal my soul, the disappointment that I have the abandonment that I feel, the anger, perhaps, that's in my heart towards those that have left me or those that want to kill me, such as Saul. Surely David had to deal with quite a bit of upset and anger and disappointment about Saul's threats of death. But that's not the only place that we find a prison. The ancient church saw here the the, uh, language of Christ. So the Lord Jesus, while he's in the prison of his death cries out to the Lord for release and he's going to be released in three days and when he rises from that tomb which is hewn out of the rock another cave he comes into the presence of those righteous who have received him his disciples and then is escorted into heaven via you know his resurrection and he goes there and he sits at the right hand of the Father in the presence of the innumerable saints and angels that are there. Then there is the prison that's described here as the body. Some commentators see this as the church crying out about the prison of the body, that the body is, in a sense, the enemy because of its passions and desires that roll through unchecked. And then there are some that have argued against that particular interpretation and said it's not the body, no, it's the soul, the soul that is unredeemed, because the body, Paul says, is the temple of God. So it's not the body but the soul which struggles with the temptations, the confinements of corruption and unchaste thoughts and actions, desires and lusts that war against it. And so all of these things comprise some of the idea of this you know, prison that David is speaking of here. But notice there's release. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Are you in trouble today? Call on the Lord. He'll deal bountifully with you. Join me again next time as we look at Psalm 143 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. 
I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.